I was motivated to write this book because I thought the first decade or so of the School of Engineering Education, so much has happened, so many changes have occurred, so many people have been involved, that unless we captured that, if we, unless we got it down while it was still fresh in the minds of people, while we still had all the images, while we still had all the other background, then in the future it will be so much harder to do. So in, the, in developing the book we thought best to go with a pictorial history rather than a long set of words etc because there's so much has happened, there's so many people involved and in this era everybody has pictures of everything that happens it was the opportunity was there to do it even though we're looking at just a short period of 10 years. But in addition we wanted to capture some of the historical background, some of the thinking at the time. So. There are a few words that introduce each chapter. These words were deliberately chosen as being words written at the time, contemporaneous to the events. So they were reports or extracts from reports or memos or papers that people at the time wrote about the development of this program or, or parts of it. And so it has that sense of it's not a history that's been written after the event, but what was said at the time. The book is organised into a number of chapters, one that deals with freshman engineering and interdisciplinary engineering, which were the programmes that preceded the formation of the school. And then there's three chapters on this first decade or so of the school. While the bulk of the book is organised around the time sequence from the formation of freshman engineering in 1953 all the way up to the present time, there's also a chapter on the people. We thought that was really important to feature the, 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 the individuals who make this place, the faculty, the staff, the students. And there's an excellent picture in that chapter which shows faculty and staff working in one of the what we call advances rather than retreats that we hold each year. And it sort of captures that sense of a team of people with a diverse range of backgrounds and interests all working for the better development of this unique school. In addition to pictures in each of those chapters about the relevant time period, uh, there is a little timeline that shows what happens, uh, major events, major awards and so forth, so you can kind of track the history in that sense. Importantly, there are also a series of double page spreads that look at particular aspects, so for example something on uh, the first year program, something on the interdisciplinary engineering program then and now things on the development of the graduate program, the research works is done, etc. So there's this combination of timeline, each time you turn the page you're going to another year and you're moving on and you're seeing other little call outs that say somebody won this award or this happened in that year. But you've also got these little concentrated bursts where you can look in some depth over a period of time at a particular aspect of the program.